worst performing sides in the Premier League over the last six to eight weeks. It's West Ham at home, plus 475. They entertain the Premier League leaders in Arsenal, who are at minus 175. The draw is at plus 315. Let's look at the goals, because I was looking for Arsenal over 2.5, because the over 1.5 is at minus 150. West Ham are minus 160 to score, and the over 2.5 is at minus 130. Stinch, West Ham have been nothing short of... I don't even know... I haven't got a word for them at the moment. And Arsenal, even though they dropped points last week at Anfield, very, very impressive. I I couldn't really pick a weakness other than maybe their centre-halves, but there again, it was against Liverpool, and you're not going to come up against their movement and uh, the fans every week. West Ham look low on confidence. Yeah, I would agree there. Yeah, low on confidence, poor finishing and individual errors, I think, are all uh, working against them this season. They're in a, a tough spot this week because they go to Ghent uh, tonight where it will be a, it will be a tough game. I think West Ham are like plus 120. Uh, Is plus that in that conference league? Yes, correct. Um, sure. So they're sort of juggling that schedule and... and um, You'll often hear people say, oh, you know, you've got a tough game because uh, they're having to play every three days. But it does it does bear true, sort of st- statistically. When uh, teams play uh, Thursday, Sunday, they do see a drop-off in their um, win percentage on a Sunday. So, you know, and Arsenal have had the week off. Now they are out of Europe. And I think, you know, the, the good thing about Arsenal is they've got, a, they've got a plan, they've got a process, they've got a way of playing, and they stick to it regardless. And I think that's what... We're seeing the fruits of of their of the Arteta's um, tactics this season in that respect, where their performance levels lead them to creating good opportunities and not giving away that many uh, opportunities at the other end. And you know that will always be conducive to winning football matches. And you look at West Ham against the better teams this season; they have been really, really bad. Um, their record against the top nine reads: played 13, won one, drawn three, lost nine, scored six. You know, so that's less than half a goal a game. Conceded 25, you know, that's over two per game. So, for me, it's trying to find a way to get with Arsenal. Um, we look at Arsenal here. They're minus 175 to win, minus 150 to score over 1.5 goals. So, I was like, well, why not sort of combine the two and back them to win and over 1.5 when you get a minus 120? You know, if Arsenal score over 1.5 goals, I'd be surprised if they don't win. Um, you look at West Ham as well. 15 defeats this season, and in those 15 defeats, I thought it was really alarming. They've only scored four goals. So that says to me, when they go behind, their confidence is just absolutely shattered and they're down tools. And Arsenal's record against most teams this season has been excellent, but particularly against the bottom half, 14 wins in 16 games, so they're just relentless. Uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, you know, looking at the odds here, getting minus 120 on Arsenal to win and over 1.5 when the minus 150 score over 1.5 goals is a is a nice leap big big bullet points for this game Arsenal 7 days rest Okay, players coming back off the injury list to give them other options. West Ham, as you said, they're in that conference league, which is going to obviously take its toll if it hasn't already. Then, this is the bigger one, Mark O'Hare. Arsenal have got to win the game. But also, Arsenal have also got to make sure that they try and reduce this goal difference with uh, Man City. So Arsenal have got to keep going, keep pressing. It's no good being winning 2-1, 1-0. They've got, I think, they, I think Arsenal score three here. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't put it past it, the way, the way they're playing at the minute. Um, their away form so far this season has been superb. 11 wins from 15. The most away wins, the most away points. They've scored the most away goals and conceded the fewest away goals and collected the most away clean sheets. So, you know, very solid away from Emirates Stadium. Um, they've also played five uh, London derbies away from home so far this season. They won all five by an aggregate of 11 nil. Really, really impressive stuff. So they'll fancy their chances of turning West Ham over. The head-to-head is very strong in their favour. Two defeats in 29 league meetings, just three losses in 26 trips to West Ham. They've won nine of the last 14 away at West Ham as well. And actually their performances and their record at around minus 175 odds uh, so far this season has been pretty strong away from home too. And you know, Stinch did a great sort of summary really on West Ham and their issues, uh, particularly against the leading lights in the Premier League this season. Um, the recent game here at home to Newcastle where they lost and conceded five goals was 
an utter disaster really from a defensive perspective and Moyes made big changes to his defence last weekend at, at Fulham and got a got a result out of it but um, ultimately his record against big six teams at West Ham is, is atrocious. Um, he's lost 69% of games with West Ham against the big six um, so you know it's uh, that's a desperate record and it's very difficult to see them turning that around. Um, so yeah, I looked at I looked at this uh, wager as well because I think the price is is very attractive, considering the Arsenal price of minus one seventy five and the boost it gives, uh, just to exclude the one nil away win. Uh, West Ham matches have tended to be quite low scoring, but actually fourteen of fifteen at London Stadium have produced a minimum of two goals, and Arsenal has scored multiple goals in nine of fifteen away as well. And you mentioned you know, you expect Arsenal to score three or more since losing to Man City. They played eight Premier League games. They scored 25 goals. They scored twice or more in all eight, and scored three goals or more in six of those eight as well. So, yeah, I wouldn't put it past them scoring multiple goals, possibly two, probably probably three. Um, and West Ham, well, they've got players who can contribute, but uh, we're not seeing it too often at the minute. So, yeah, I expect Arsenal to win and stay on track for the title. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that 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 bet, that price, Arsenal to win, and over one and a half goals at minus 120, yeah, it does for me. Yeah, I've gone a bit greedy, as you'd expect. Um, but Arsenal are also plus 200 to score uh, over two and a half goals on their own. Um, I, OK, let's break this down a little bit more because it is obviously the leaders against the relegation fodder. But Arsenal have so many attacking options when West Ham are not defending. Their centre-halves are marking space. And you hear me say that a lot. And space never scores a goal. But the player in the space does. Um Arsenal, they shift the ball too quickly. I think massive seven-day rest is going to go against West Ham and the goal difference. I, I see them just pedal to the metal and play for the full 95 minutes and have players coming off the bench as well who will want to be uh, part of this. So, yeah, I can see this being 3-1, 4-1, maybe even 4-0. But I certainly don't see any joy for the home side. Let's have a little look at the official picks. OK, Arsenal and over one and a half at minus 120. Arsenal and over one and a half at minus 120. You, I've noticed recently, you boys, I know you don't confer and all this, that and the other, but you do come up with the same winning bets. Uh, Arsenal and over two and a half at plus 125. And I see that Mitch has gone a little bit greedy because that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, that Arsenal to score over two and a half goals on their own is plus 200. Uh, Man City are pretty good at taking Premier League by goal difference. There's the reason to have Arsenal and uh, over one and a half or over two and a half because they've got to score goals and not leave them at, uh, at the back. Don't leave your back door open. It's never a good idea. 